Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today let's ask the question, is LinkedIn too spammy? Okay, so a couple of days ago, I did a video about how I got an email from a news show that wanted to do a segment on Overpass on their show. And in reality, it was just a spam message. I got it earlier this year. I got it like five years ago. And when I posted the video, a lot of you guys commented that you got the exact same spam email. And it was just so sleazy the way they did it. Our producer saw Overpass and thought it would make a good segment for our show. But in reality, you have to pay to be on their show. And it was just like, you know, whatever. I thought it was kind of, kind of sleazy and everything, but there was a really good comment on that video from Hawk who said, that's kind of crafty the way they reach out. Recently, I noticed a lot more noise in LinkedIn sharing and comments for the sake of commenting to create buzz and exposure. I wonder if all that noise really helped or just a waste of time. Have you tried that for your business? All right, Hawk, when I read this, I felt a little bit guilty because yes, I've been doing a lot more commenting and liking and sharing on LinkedIn and posting a lot more. And sometimes I'll even take the YouTube videos and post them onto LinkedIn also. But I'm not going to do that today because today I want to tell you guys what I really think about LinkedIn, which is it's not my social network. It's not my favorite social network. It never has been. Like, Part of me just feels really phony on LinkedIn and you know, we make connection requests with other people and as soon as you connect with them, you get hit with the sale, the, the sales thing or whatever. Hey, I think Overpass and our company has synergy. Do you want to have a chat? And you just kind of ignore it. Spam is just part of LinkedIn, right? It's just part of the whole thing. But sometimes I'll get found through LinkedIn. So the more connections you have, the higher you show up in the rankings. So I always like, like if you guys want to connect on LinkedIn, connect with me, I'll connect. But lately, I've been hearing a lot more about LinkedIn, how more important it is, and I have a lot of friends who've been posting more to LinkedIn. So I've been trying to do more, trying to post more to LinkedIn, share, like, and comment on stuff. And yeah, part of me just, it just, feels inauthentic compared to other social networks. Because over here on YouTube, I could talk about whatever I want to talk about. I don't have to worry about whether or not you guys think, oh, he doesn't know as much as we thought he did, or um, you know, he made a mistake here, right? Because I'm not trying to sell you anything. I can just talk about whatever I want to talk about. But over on LinkedIn, it kind of feels like I'm at work, right? You know, the profile pictures have ties, there's like quote images that say things like, you know, uh, Failing to plan is planning to fail, right? And then there'll be like a bunch of comments, so true, so true, so true, whatever. And depending on how senior the person is who posted it, every much more people will post to it in the hopes that they'll say, that they'll notice you. Like, hey, notice me, I commented on your post and everything. And in some ways, it makes me feel like like when I was in my 20s and I was in the army and like the soldiers would go out and they would try to start a conversation with a with a woman and they would just say whatever hey nice shoes or hey where where are you going why, hey why no smile and it was just kind of right I I talked about this before but I've always been very much of a loner and very introverted and I hate making small talk and what I hate more, even more than making small talk is making small talk on a social network. Say, commenting on something saying, hey, I really agree with what you said about water purifiers or whatever, right? Or, oh, and even this, like on LinkedIn where it says, um, where it makes these recommendations, like it's, it's, uh, it's Dave's work anniversary. Wish him a happy work anniversary. So you click on it and there's a pre-populated template saying, happy work anniversary, Dave. And Dave says, Thanks, Eric, but I've never met Dave and Dave's never met me and it's just sort of this frivolous kind of conversation and and first of all, and work anniversaries is not an actual thing. But so like we started going through and doing whatever LinkedIn recommends and I, I discovered the social selling index, which uh, the SSI, and if you're wondering what your SSI is, just Google it. But I'm trying to grow that for, for my profile and for the company. And yes, Hawk, there is a lot more there. Does it actually help? I don't know, but you know what? To me, it always felt like a game. It always just feels like, yeah, we'll do what we have to do. I'm not proud of it. And just seeing that comment made me feel like a little bit like, yeah, you know what? <sighs> maybe, yeah, maybe it's just like, I'm as being as inauthentic as somebody else. I hate 
having companies contact me saying, hey, I noticed that Overpass works on mobile apps, right? Oh, you notice that? Right, those, hey, I noticed that Overpass works on mobile apps, so do we. I think our companies have synergy. God, if I did a search on my uh, LinkedIn messages for the word synergy, it would just, yeah. But um, yeah, I think, I think LinkedIn is spammy. I think it's just, it is what it is. If you're gonna use it as a tool, use it as a tool. It can be very useful. It is very useful to reach out to other companies, especially if you're doing B2B, but there's a lot of that kind of spammy kind of posting and commenting and stuff like that for the, for the sake of posting and commenting. And yeah, you're absolutely right, right, Hawk. Let me ask the rest of you guys, what do you think about LinkedIn? Do you use it very often? Am I completely off base? Are you like, no, actually, Eric, LinkedIn is a very good tool. I think everybody on there is very authentic, right? But um, for me, I don't know, but I'm gonna still continue to use it. And, and if, you, if you're connecting with me on LinkedIn, Please don't take this personally, but I don't think that much about LinkedIn. So anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again next time.